Hi guys and welcome back to my channel i.e. that is Iconic Eunice. Today on the Fashion Talk we will be discussing the preppy style. I wanted to discuss the preppy style right after the classic because they go hand in hand with a lot of differences as well as a lot of similarities. The preppy look actually came from Ivy League colleges and preparatory schools. If you look into the early 2000s, rap videos all had preppy looks in them. Andre 3000, Kanye West, these were all men who were participating within the preppy culture. It was right around the time that Ralph Lauren was getting a bigger name. So the preppy look has definitely been within black culture. It's just not something that's always thought of as a black thing. So if you watch shows like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air or you watch Different World, there were definitely some preppy elements to these shows. You will see someone like Carlton rock a sweater vest. You will also see this particular elements in Whitley's Closet from Different World. The preppy style is a mix of tailored and sporty attire combined. It's a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more laid back. Certain elements that you will find in the preppy style can come off as classic, except they're styled different. So whereas the classic woman wants to be a little bit more tailored and a little bit more reserved, the preppy woman pushes the envelope with things such as pastel colors. She also plays around with texture. She also will play around with androgyny, meaning that you play around with a mix of masculine and feminine pieces mixed together so if you were looking to um, maybe learn a little bit more about like Ralph Lauren or like really understanding how black culture played a role within preppy style there's a good um, documentary that you can look at called horsepower hip-hop's impact on Ralph Lauren and it's a complex um, documentary that's on YouTube that you can watch you can see how hip-hop played a role now I do have to point out that though women in both Fresh Prince of Bel-Air as well as Different World attempted at participating within the preppy style, black women haven't necessarily taken on the style as full on meaning as what the style is. You will find elements of these styles in a black woman's closet, but rarely do I see black women go full on preppy. Mostly I've seen a lot of black men within hip hop world go full preppy and kind of add hip hop elements to it. But I usually will, wouldn't see black women participate, but you check out shows and movies like clueless. You might see how a black woman played her role within a very Caucasian style as preppy. The preppy woman honestly is not scared to play around with anything fun. Focuses a lot on texture, color, and, but at the same time, her material needs to be well made and very, very high end. All right, so some of the style dresses that is a lot of polo dresses that will probably either be mid thigh, also a lot of tennis dresses. A tennis dress is just something of a boxier fit. And you also see her in some wool dresses. These are all dresses in her wardrobe because they have texture, they have colorfulness, they're a little bit more laid back while still giving her an elevated look. Because if you wear a colored dress, even if you wear it with sandals and you carry a purse, you're going to look very simplistic and effortlessly preppy. A day-to-day -day look for her is going to be a bunch of polo shirts, an Oxford shirt, looser fitting blouses. It's also going to be some chinos, pleated tennis skirts, lots, a lot of knitwears because she will wear cardigans. She will also wear sweater vests. So this woman wants to look collegiate sometimes. Now I'm not saying all preppy looks come with the collegiate elements, but certain things like sweatshirts, sweater vests are all derived from the collegiate look or the Ivy Lee look. If you're thinking about participating in this type of styling, you want to make sure you always look fun and elevated. Your sweaters are a little bit more colorful. Your blouses are a little more looser, 
For pants and things of that nature, she might do a colorful shorts. She can also do some jeans. And I don't remember, I don't know if you guys remember back in early 2000s when the preppy look was really high, you will see girls in high school wear a Hollister colored polo and then they'll go ahead and wear some jeans with it or they will wear a mini skirt with it. Also, the preppy look is from high schoolers as well as college students. So if you're trying to tap into the preppy look as an adult woman, you want to bring some of these elements in, but you don't want them to look childish. Hence why you will have to make sure you choose quality made clothing. Another key element in a, in a preppy woman's closet that I forgot to mention was the varsity jacket. Even though the varsity jacket is mostly linked to men, if you're a preppy woman who is a bit more adventurous, you can bring it into your closet to pair it with different, different things that you have in your closet. And it will still work out because the varsity jacket is linked to the Ivy League collegiate preparatory school vibe and style. When it comes to things like shoes, the preppy look is very, very relaxed. She doesn't really play around with a lot of heels. Not saying she doesn't wear heels. Like her heel is not gonna be, it's not even going to be at the level of like a classic woman because a classic woman might do a four inch heel, maybe, maybe five. She just won't go super high. But a preppy woman is usually in ballet flats. She's also in um, boat shoes. She will be in, um, in loafers, toms, you know, when toms were popular, they were also popular right around the era of when the preppy look was at its height in the early 2000s. So she will, anything that's like comfortable, but stylish. So if you looked at shows like Gossip Girl, Blair Waldorf will embody a preppy woman. She, she wasn't always in heels. If she was in heels, it's a little bit more fun. And then she wore colorful ballet shoes throughout the episodes. She's going to be colorful. She's going to be fun. She's going to bring an element of surprise with her clothing. She just always wants to make sure it's like refined and done very well. Okay. So I, I'm going to put, I'm going to put this whole category together, the category of makeup, accessories and, um, hair. Here's why I'm going to do it this way because a preppy woman is someone who plays around a lot with hair pieces. So you will see her in headbands, you see her in some brooches, some hair clips. Those are things that she will put in her hair. They need to be stylish and most of the time pushed from their face. You will see them in loose fitting ponytails, maybe a poof at the top of the head but mostly a preppy woman is going to accessorize her hair with brooches, hair clips, and headbands. That's just something I've observed. That's something I've seen a lot in different TV shows, in different magazines of how the preppy look comes off. For accessories, she does pearl earrings and she might do dainty or she can, she can go over the top. A preppy woman is not necessarily trying to be super traditional. She's trying to bring an element of fun into her style. Okay, so for makeup and stuff like that, they usually look super effortless, which is like the no makeup makeup look. For places to shop, Polo Ralph Lauren has dedicated its entire branding to catering to the preppy affluence culture. The Polo Ralph Lauren polos was very popular back then. It's still popular to this day. A polo sweater is a great gift to give anyone. So Ralph Lauren is the embodiment of a preppy woman's closet. Another one is Terry Birch. Then there is Lily Pulitzer, which is those colorful flowery dresses. And for, I think more affordable brands, I would say J crew is the one that comes to mind for affording the preppy look. But like I said, in my classic video, you can shop these styles anywhere. You just have to make sure you know what you're looking for, which is a polo shirt, a Nux for a shirt, a wool dress, um, a varsity jacket, a sweat, a collegiate or 
college university type sweatshirt a tennis skirt you just have to know what you're looking for when you go into the stores all right so the wardrobe essentials for a preppy woman and this is stuff that i even forgot to mention in the everyday wear section um a blazer mm -hmm. you need a blazer a pea coat a trench coat the barberry trench if you can afford the Burberry trench, but the Burberry trench style coat, polo tops, cardigans, sweater vests, vests in general, like the tactical outdoorsy type vests, um, or the puffer type vests, not super the overt oversized where it's going into streetwear, just tailored to your body fits you very well. Sweatshirt. This is for if you're really trying to push the Ivy League look. Pleated skirts. Mini skirts is also something you can look into, but it just has to be of sensible level because you don't want to come off in a different direction. Sweaters, cable knit sweaters, lightly knitted sweaters, V-neck sweaters, anything sweater related. For your shoes, you want to have ballet flats, the hunter boots, the riding boots. You want to do headbands. That's it though for like key essential things. You don't have to be a preppy girl to have these things in your closet, but these are the essentials of a preppy look. I think black women genuinely just take these key items and we throw it in our closet and we style it however way we feel like styling it. I just thought it was really important to come and talk about what kind of things you should be looking for when you're shopping for a preppy type vibe. That's it. I think these are the things that you need in your closet. And these are the elements that you need to be aware of when it comes to the preppy style. Um, I just wanted to give a quick overview of what the preppy style entails, how it's played a role in black culture. I knew this particular style wasn't something that's really pushed in the black community, but I do know there are girls and women who want to tap into the look. So if you're somebody who is looking to tap into these looks, you can look up some of these items that I've mentioned. You can even watch the documentary that I talked about. Just know that the preppy woman is not the classic woman. She may wear a sweater, but she's going to wear a fun colored sweater. She may wear a skirt, but it's going to be a little bit shorter. She is not trying to look prim and proper all the time, even though she is trying to give an element of elevated style. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel i hope this was very beneficial to you obviously i don't really live in the preppy world so if i did miss something and you know that's something that's an element of the preppy style please go ahead and comment it down below respectfully that way we can all help each other style each other better thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys in another video Walk through the fire, the sound of